G'day all, welcome back to Daz's Random Stuff. Thank you once again for joining me. Today, I'm going to go through the six different riding modes of the CF Moto 800 MT Explore. So the three riding modes are pretty straightforward to get through on the dashboard, but to get to all six is a little bit tricky. I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're going to run through what the manufacturer tells us that the riding modes are going to do for us and we're going to put them to the test. So if you haven't subscribed, please whack that subscribe button for me and we're going to check out the six different ride modes of the CF Moto. I'd love that dash. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> One of my favourite things is that dashboard. It just does everything. It's like a super duper computer. I love it. Please smash subscribe. Let's get on the road. First things first, we've got our phone connected there, which is Bluetooth, and you can see Apple CarPlay has just come on, which will automatically connect once you set your programs on your phone, and you connect that via Bluetooth to your... So your dash. normal ride modes, if you hit that function button just hit it once and not hold it, you'll see on the top of the dash there, it comes up sport, rain and off-road. So there are your three ride modes, your basic ride modes that you can change when you're doing under 30k an hour on this bike. So you hit the function there and you scroll left or right with your left or right button there. And that will actually scroll through your sport mode. So your off-road and your rain will come up there. And you can scroll through and get to whichever one you want. And they're your basic settings. So I'm going to leave it on sport for the moment. And I'm going to tell you what the manufacturer says about sport mode and off-road and rain mode. And then you'll go into, so you'll, you'll hit and hold the function button. So when you, when you hit and hold that function button, I'll do that now. So hitting and holding it, so that comes up with your main menu there. So we've got our drive mode right there. So we're just going to hit that. We'll hit the drive mode. And there are your six ride mode options. Hopefully you can see that without the glare. So there are your six ride mode options. You've got sport, off-road, all-terrain, rain, off-road plus, and all-terrain plus. So they are your six different ride modes and you can just scroll through those as you want to. So that's the way you get to the six of them. Hit your function button, get your main menu up and hit your ride modes, your drive modes, I think they're called. That is how we get to them. So we're going to leave it on sport for the minute. We're going to take her out and uh, have a ride in sport mode. And we're going to go through each mode and I'm going to tell you what the manufacturer tells us. What all these modes are going to this do This is what us. CS Modo says about sport mode. Sport mode provides the sharpest throttle response and maximum torque output with a low level of traction control intervention. A big word. <laughs> Perfect for experienced riders out for a spirited ride on the tarmac. There you go. So sharpest throttle response and maximum torque output with a low level of traction control intervention. Let's go and take that for a spin. <laughs> You've got to love the sound of that exhaust. That is so cool. Check out my other video for the installation of the cheap Chinese exhaust. Mate, it sounds good. Such a great sound. A bit extra performance, I would think. Oh, sounds good, eh? Alright, first things first. As you can see, very low fuel. We put it to the whole dash. Oh, no K's to empty. Oh, that's handy. So we best go get some fuel first. Let's do that. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot me bloody sunnies. 
That's going to be a nightmare. The, the sun is... That's better. Sun is alright. Time for some... Uh, some go-go juice. So check that out. It's giving me a warning. It's giving me a warning, a vibration reminder. Because I moved the bike without the key in it. <laughs> Classic. Love it. Alright, that's better. Full of fuel. Confirm. There we go. So, low rear tyre pressure. I understand. You can get rid of that. And front tyre pressure is low. So, we better get some air in both of those. Ah, oh, welcome back. Welcome back. I swear we were just here. <laughs> those tyre pressure sensors are really sensitive you can see up there on the dashboard it's telling me it needs you need to look at your tyres so as you can see that's the only way you're going to be able to get into these rear valves with a flexible nozzle remove your groovy CF moto cap <laughs> it's telling us here front wheel is two bar Rear wheel is 2.4 bar. I wish that was in PSI. So hopefully the uh, crew at CF Moto are listening, and watching this video. Dudes, we need that in PSI. Whack a bit in. Alrighty, see that's gone out of the red to 2.7 bar into the white. That's beautiful, that's what we need. So that's cured the rear. They're so sensitive. About 2.3, 2.5 even, that's good. So it's gone out of the red into the white and your warning light's gone off. Well, happy days. Let's finally get on the road <laughs> and do a bit of uh, ride mode test testing. Let's go. Sorry about that slight cock up. Anyway, we're all good. Our tyre warning's gone off. Both of those are in the white, which is where they need to be. Let's go. And we will put it on the full dash mode. And you can see that we're in sport mode. Now the manufacturer tells us that it is a low low-ish level of traction control but the most the crispest throttle response so for me it's quite a lot of traction control because it won't let your wheel stand it just will not let your wheel stand and as in a crisp throttle response I guess that's true in a way the traction control cuts all that back so you really don't get that big throttle response that they're talking about because of the traction control. But once it gets traction, absolutely, there it's really crisp and really, uh, really sensitive. The throttle it's, it gives you heaps of get up and boogie, heaps of torque. So I'll give you an example of the throttle control when we boot it. back there really in the traction control you can feel it coming in because it just it doesn't want you to wheel stand so as soon as you pick the front wheel up it just cuts power to the rear wheel and uh, and yeah essentially just won't let won't let your wheel stand and the traction control is doing its job definitely you see that red flash up on the dashboard then that just told me there's a car right up me bump that's coming really close so that's your warning your rear collision warning it's such a great thing so i'll give it one more blast in sport 
Now this is sport mode. You, you see, when we accelerate and it wants to pick up the front wheel, the traction control kicks in and cuts all the power. You watch this. red lines that were coming on the dashboard there you there you shift change uh, shift change lights to make sure you uh, change gears of course so no clutch to kick down I very rarely use the clutch to kick down because you got the uh, the quick shifter which is a great thing okay that was sports mode so sports mode let's have a read through it once again provides a sharp throttle response and maximum torque output with a low level of traction control intervention e, okay i think it's quite a lot of traction control intervention but that's a good thing that's what it's there for perfect for an experienced rider or experienced riders out for a spirited ride on the tarmac and that's so very true because if you're not trying to do a wheel stand traction control will be great around the corners if you do get a little bit of a slip up it'll pull you back into line so i guess that's good all right so that was sports mode as you can see sports mode up on the dash there so let's hit our function control here and we're going to go we'll go straight into rain mode down the bottom here now rain mode so if we hit our button there and scroll across to rain mode there we are in rain mode that will now as you can see that's now in rain mode so let's have a read of rain mode okay rain provides the softest throttle response and the, the gentlest power curve with the lowest maximum output and highest level of traction control intervention best suited for wet and slippery conditions now i've ridden in rain mode before and that is exactly what it does it really really is a good thing so let's go and i think it was on my last video that i whacked it into rain mode and just showed you on the gravel so it's really good on the gravel too on a gravel road it, it gives you heap of traction control uh, and really really gentle throttle response it will not let you like gas it up too much so let's do that Let's give rain mode a crack. Let us just give it a bit of loving in rain mode. And you watch the difference between the power here. It just cuts it way back and it's fantastic. So I'll really give it the berries. And you watch what it does. absolutely flat out watch the watch the throttle response it just cuts way way down you watch when i floor it it's like it way under half of the power and i guess it would have to give you a whole lot more traction control which it won't let you lift at all because there's this very very little power and we should check out the abs as well i suppose but that's gonna we just sneak over here look at that it just doesn't move at all on the gravel it's just really maintaining check out the abs oh yeah that's just that was just flat out breaking on the rear and it was just grinding all the way so heaps of abs at the front oh yeah see that it just jumped so there's, there's heaps and heaps of abs heaps of traction control and about half of the throttle that uh, is there when it's in sport mode so there you go rain mode is really really good that is rain mode it's definitely what the manufacturer tells us it is fantastic mode when you're in the wet or even on the let gravel. us go to our next mode which we're going to go over to off-road mode 
which you'll see in my last video I had it there so we hit our function button and you can see it comes up and we scroll across to off-road and leave it there you'll see when it disappears we are in off-road so mode off-road provides a softer throttle response than sport with the lowest level of traction control intervention with the lowest level of traction control intervention mmm that's interesting all right let's take it for a spin but now I've taken this in off-road quite a few times and the lowest level of traction control is probably very true very very true and I still what I said in my last video I actually lied to you guys I do apologize because I said that it switches off the ABS but it doesn't switch the ABS off that's in the next the next two ride modes the all-terrain modes all-terrain and all-terrain plus they actually switch off your front and your rears all-terrain switches off your rear and all-terrain plus switches off your front so you've got heaps of power and no ABS which is quite good because I like no ABS on off-road so you can sort of lock them up slide into a corner so let's try let's have a crack at off-road mode now this is the lowest amount of traction control and if you see my other video you know what happens <laughs> it's fucking awesome <laughs> think there's any traction control because it wouldn't let you it wouldn't let you wheel stand if there was I guess there's another way to find out if there's traction control or not just uh, do a bit of a brakey find a nice little grassy spot and just do a brakey and see what happens <laughs> that'll tell us whether there's traction control or not See, there's still ABS there, so we'll try the front ABS. Yep, still front ABS, still rear ABS, as we lock them up coming in on the grass. Now, a good way to tell if there's no traction control, or if there is. Yep, there is a low level of traction control. So the back wheel was spinning then, and it was cutting the power on and off, so it was just doing... Uh, little bit of a burnout but so there you go you can sort of see that back there <laughs> so essentially there is traction control so there is still a low level of traction control in off-road check this out see that spinning the back wheel so essentially it is giving us it is giving us a bit of traction control but not a lot because it does this so they're your three basics. They are your three basic ride modes that you can get to really easily on your function control over here. So let's dive into the next one and see what that does for us. Okay, to get into our next ride mode which is off-road plus and then we've got all terrain and all terrain plus to do as well so that this will be number four so this these next three are a little bit tricky to get into they're not just straight off your function button so we need to hold the function button down sorry I always get that wrong hold your asterisk button down that'll take you to that menu there then hold your function button down I'll get that right one day so we go into our drive mode you click on drive mode and that'll bring up your six options which we have right there so we've we were we've done sport we've done rain we've done off-road now oh 
We must start the engines, just tell them me off, how's that? So we'll start up the engine as it wants me to and we hit off-road plus. There you go, the rear ABS is turned off, please drive with caution. Well there you go, it gives you the warning. So these off these extra three modes are gonna give us warnings all the way that the safety of the bike I guess is compromised. So so there you go, the rear ABS has been turned off. Very, very interesting mode. Now let's see. Off-road mode. Alright, so we've still got the traction control button up. We'll get rid of that. We'll go back to our normal dash. So it's got uh, rear wheel ABS is disconnected and TC maybe that's traction control but that might go off as the other two alright so the other two have gone off so yeah okay cool so it's still got a heap of power heaps of power I didn't give it everything then so it just sort of just gingerly taken her for a ride quickly test out the rear ABS it tells us that it's turned off yep that's awesome oh I love that that's the best when you can just lock up the rear wheel and slide in <coughs> alrighty let's see how we go eh But that's a really cool ride mode too because you can actually lock them up and slide in on your on your rear wheel which is just fantastic such a great thing to do <laughs> and just slide in sideways oh you're gonna love it <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's a good mode i'm liking that mode so front abs still on yep. front ABS is still on so there you go as it says rear wheel there rear wheel ABS is turned off alrighty so we might quickly flick straight to the next mode uh, so we're going to go function to get our, our asterisk we're going to get up our, our modes again and we're going to go to all terrain there we go now it says rear ABS is turned off please drive with caution so rear wheel oh there you go so rear wheel so we're in all terrain mode so the rear wheel ABS is off the traction control is now off I understand so we have no traction control. DTC, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what that is on the dash. So yeah, the rear wheel and traction control is turned off. Which I thought was actually off in the last mode. But obviously not. I'll just give her the berries and see what happens as you do. bit of a longer wheel stand there which was nice so she sort of stayed up in second as well nice I tell you it's a lot of fun <laughs> so we've got no traction control at this time I guess Ooh, that's what we've done before those little skids don't really get in trouble all right so there's no traction control or no ABS on the rear none on the front actually I don't know that might have a little bit on the front still because I think all terrain plus I think that gets rid of all of your ABS front and rear I think it still had a little bit of front it's a bit tricky to try because we don't want to drop the bike because she weighs a couple of kilos you know Oh no, it's got a little bit, it's still got a little bit on the front wheel, a little bit of 
a little bit of ABS on the front wheel which is uh, kind of handy I guess so the rear is gone which is cool so let's go to all terrain plus so what that mode does switches off your front wheel here we go front and rear ABS is turned off please drive with caution yep cool man we'll do so Rear uh, front wheel ABS is off, rear wheel ABS is off, DTC, I'm going to study that, I don't know what that is, I thought it was traction control, uh, but the traction control is turned off as well, so I guess you've got to click, I understand, we'll get rid of that, look at that, <laughs> everything, so every mode is off, so there you go, we have no traction control, it just wants to... control let's check out the ABS on the rear yep no ABS on the rear and I don't really want to do the fronts because I'll end up and no ABS on the front there you go you gotta love that no traction control no ABS Happy days. Dug a bit of a trench. God, she looks good, doesn't she? What a beast. You know, there's a riding mode for everyone on this thing. It's a bloody ripper. So to change it all back, you've actually got to slow to under 30 k's an hour. Or, do the wise thing. Oh, I love that. No ABS. That is so cool. Do the wise thing and just uh, pull over and whack it back into sport mode. There you go, sport mode. And it'll just get you back on the blacktop again. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to here, make sure you whack that subscribe button. Because you just don't want to miss this shit. It's fucking awesome. Thank you heaps.